This is the Secular Bible Study. I'm the Amateur Exegete. In our last two videos, we explored solutions to the synoptic problem. First, we explored the Augustinian hypothesis, which asserted that Matthew wrote his gospel first, Mark used Matthew's gospel when composing his own, and Luke used both Matthew and Mark in composing his. We then looked at the two-gospel hypothesis, which asserted that Matthew wrote his gospel first, Luke drew upon Matthew to write his own, and Mark used both Matthew and Luke to compose his. Both the Augustinian and two-gospel hypotheses rest on the notion of Matthean priority. But what if Matthean priority is wrong? What if he didn't write first? Beginning in the 19th century, critical scholars became increasingly convinced that the first of the four canonical Gospels to have been written was actually the shortest, the Gospel of Mark. Their reasons for thinking this were myriad, and today Mark in priority is the consensus view among New Testament scholars. But what then is the relationship of the other synoptic Gospels to Mark? Most scholars today believe that the author of Matthew's Gospel and the author of Luke's Gospel both drew upon Mark's Gospel when composing their own. This explains why we find 90% of what is found in Mark in Matthew, and 52% of what we find in Mark in Luke. But this creates a new problem. What of the material found in Matthew and Luke that is not found in Mark? A variety of sayings not found in Mark are found in both Matthew and Luke. For example, all three of the Synoptic Gospels mention Jesus' baptism. But Mark lacks a series of sayings from the lips of John the Baptist that are found in both Matthew's Gospel and Luke's. The presence of these and other passages has led scholars to postulate that, in addition to using Mark's Gospel as a source, Matthew and Luke had access to a source that is no longer extant, which they call Q, from the German word Quella, meaning source. The idea that Matthew and Luke both used Mark and Q in composing their Gospels is known as the two-source hypothesis. Of all the solutions to the synoptic problem, the two-source hypothesis is far and away the best received in New Testament scholarship. But anyone who has read the Gospels of Matthew and Luke know that while they certainly share material with one another that came from Mark or perhaps Q, there is material that neither of them share with one another that cannot be traced to Mark or Q. The clearest examples of these are seen in the birth narratives found at the beginning of each Gospel. These two narratives, as well as the accompanying genealogies, must have come from somewhere, either by invention or from earlier sources. Regardless of their origin, these texts are labeled as M for the material unique to Matthew and L for the material unique to Luke. Now, the two-source hypothesis has become the four-source hypothesis. But not all New Testament scholars are in agreement that Matthew and Luke must have used a hypothetical source like Q. Another solution to the synoptic problem, which also rests on the notion of Markan priority, abandons Q altogether. That is what we will briefly consider in our next video. This is the Amateur Exegete, signing off.